Indeed. And James, uh, let's move on to Group F now, uh, where there was some last minute drama in the, the last game you were watching for us this evening in Limbe between the Gambia and Tunisia. Yeah, Selena, that was absolutely crazy. I mean, we were watching the game and we we're kind of like, oh, you know, it's a little bit... It, not much was happening, not much was going on until that last minute goal, Abli Jallo absolutely hammering it in. The stadium went absolutely wild. It was, it was magnificent. And the Gambia, I mean, look, they're one of the newcomers. We didn't think that they were going to win their opening game. They did. They managed to get this far and now managed to beat Tunisia. So, I mean, a fantastic performance on their side. And of course, they're going to have something big uh, to tell back home. They, they had a really good defence today. They saved that penalty. And I can tell you, I've seen a lot of penalties over the last few weeks. Uh, but every time a penalty does get saved, well, the, the crowds go absolutely wild. And so did we, of course. Uh, I mean, they were facing Tunisia, who were in a difficult situation. They had many players who were away. Uh, Kazri in particular, pretty much the man who the whole team is built around uh, was absent because uh, of this as well. And Caballé knew that it was going to be difficult for his team. It happened today and they just weren't up for it. But in the nice story for the Gambia here is that Comoros uh, have also qualified as one of the third best teams on their side, uh, which means that the two newcomers to the, to, the, to, the, to the tournament are making it through to the round of 16. What a story for them to tell. Uh, and as you've seen, the favourites can fall. Anything can happen here.